Hello everybody, Greg Woods here. We will be speaking about ShopWorks Architecture in Denver, Colorado. This is a uh, architecture firm based in Colorado and kind of learning more about what they do and what makes them unique and kind of stand out on the map compared to uh, other firms that we have seen throughout the program. A little history and background, they're founded in 2012 by Chad Holtzinger, who's a AIA lead AP. Chad was uh, grew up in Denver, Colorado. He went to Denver North High School, graduated in 1991, and went to CU Boulder um, for college and uh, graduate study. So Chad has really seen Denver develop from a, a small little flyby city to really the behemoth it is today. So Chad really probably has a good pulse on what makes Denver unique, what Denver needs um, from a community standpoint, and what makes Denver, you know, different um, from other cities in the country. Uh, ShopWorks Architecture is a small size, uh, privately held firm, and uh, their mission statement um, from the company is, the primary, primary focus of the firm is urban infill development with particular interest in affordable housing, transit-oriented, mixed-use, and community-driven projects. ShopWorks exists to impact our community through collaborative design. And I think as we see in one of these projects I dive into, we really see that they want to benefit the community. That's really their main focus more so than uh, anything else. And that's kind of what they put their backbone on and, and try to go forward on. Um, a quote from Chad to kind of back up this mission statement is, time came for me to forge a new path in 2012. The main reason I, why I wanted to design low income projects was that that the people that are typically associated with these types of projects are amazing. Our focus is urban infield projects that have the low income community components to them. Types of development, again, urban infield development, affordable housing, mixed use development, and transit. Neighborhoods, uh, Highlands, Rhino, Low High, Berkeley and the surrounding areas. And I think through my research, their website was kind of hard to manage where I only saw pictures and contact information, no really project scopes. So I really had to dive into news websites and you know third party sources to kind of see what they're getting their hands on. And, and most seems to be affordable housing. Diving into one of their many uh, affordable housing projects they have going on currently uh, throughout Denver and, and the surrounding communities is uh, the Indy Street Flats project in Lakewood, Colorado. Lakewood is its own um, jurisdiction to the west of Denver, but it really is it's close by and uh, really could almost be a, a neighborhood, not considered a neighborhood now with, with how Denver's growing. But anyway, this is a $29.5 million project. It's converting an old fraternal lodge into micro affordable housing units, which is very, you know, exciting and I think unique spin on affordable housing and a spin that probably could be seen in the benefit uh, throughout the rest of the country. Uh, anticipated completion quarter four of this year, 30 to 60 percent AMI housing. And I was kind of unfamiliar with that term, but I gather that is folks that achieve 30 to 60 percent of the area's median income qualify for that housing. They've received some federal and state funds and uh, 115 units in all, 14 studio units, 41 one-bedroom, 46 two-bedroom, and 14 three-bedroom units. So a good little mix and match of, of all sizes. Down some photos here. You can see it's a pretty clean and, and classy design. It just wouldn't jump out to you like, oh, that must be micro-affordable housing. It looks like, uh, you know, it could be a mixed use project really anywhere in the country. And uh, I think that's one thing ShopWorks architecture prides itself on is to just because it's a affordable housing or low income housing project, the design can still be a high class, well done, well developed uh, type. And, you know, we saw that the quote with Chad, you know, he prides himself in these type of projects to deliver this um, to the community. 
a uh, little sitemap uh, for the development. You kind of see it makes kind of a, a C shape with some some outer buildings, but pretty pretty good. Um, you know, we got some some greenery and some trees and and all different yeah you know, shapes and sizes. So a little a little outline, and here's kind of a, a parcel overview of, of what they're doing. So you know, kind of they've done some some site work. It looks like still have some. Uh, buildings on it but uh getting ready at this stage to to do the ground up development but you know that's that like urban infield you know you got main roadway just just off of it that probably has bus transportation and and transportation to to denver and you know you have other you know suburban housing nearby as well